Hello, and a warm welcome to everyone tuning in today. In this video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of mitochondria, the powerhouses of our cells. Now you may be wondering, what exactly are mitochondria? Well, these tiny yet mighty organelles are the energy producers in our bodies. They're like little factories working tirelessly to convert the food we eat into energy. This energy, known as ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is the fuel that powers every single function in our bodies, from the beating of our hearts to the firing of our neurons. Without the constant work of these microscopic powerhouses, we wouldn't be able to function. But just like any factory, our mitochondria need proper maintenance and care to run smoothly. Stick around to learn more about these incredible energy factories and how to keep them in top shape. To appreciate the role of mitochondria, we first have to understand what they do in our cells. Mitochondria, often referred to as the powerhouses of the cell, are primarily responsible for generating energy. How do they do this? They convert the nutrients we consume into a type of energy that our cells can use. This energy is called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. Think of ATP as the currency of the cell. Just as we use money to purchase goods and services, cells use ATP to carry out their various functions. But where does ATP come from? This is where the magic of mitochondria comes in. When we consume food, our bodies break it down into its basic components. Proteins into amino acids, fats into fatty acids, and carbohydrates into glucose. These nutrients enter the mitochondria, where they undergo a series of chemical reactions. This process is known as cellular respiration, and it's where the conversion of nutrients into ATP happens. Now let's delve a bit deeper into this process. Cellular respiration can be divided into three main stages glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. The first two stages prepare the ground for the final and most crucial stage, the electron transport chain. This is where the majority of ATP is produced, and it's also where oxygen plays a vital role. In the electron transport chain, electrons are transferred from one protein to another, creating a flow of electrons. This flow drives the production of ATP, but for this chain of events to occur, we need oxygen. Oxygen acts as the final acceptor of these electrons. Without oxygen, the electron transport chain grinds to a halt, and ATP production is severely hampered. So, in a nutshell, mitochondria are the energy-producing factories of our cells, tirelessly working to keep us up and running. They convert the nutrients we consume into ATP, the energy currency of the cell, using a process that relies heavily on oxygen and the electron transport chain. This is why maintaining healthy mitochondria is so critical to our overall health and energy levels. But what happens when these energy powerhouses don't work as they should? If our mitochondria malfunction, the consequences can be severe. Research has shown that mitochondrial dysfunction can lead to a drop in our energy levels, leaving us feeling tired and lethargic. But the impact doesn't stop there. Mitochondrial dysfunction has also been linked to a host of health conditions, for instance, diabetes is often associated with mitochondrial dysfunction as our cells struggle to convert glucose into energy. The same is true for heart disease, where the heart muscle cells' energy needs are not met, leading to weakening and ultimately failure. Neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's are another area where mitochondrial dysfunction plays a key role. Brain cells are energy intensive and when mitochondria in these cells fail, the result can be cognitive decline and neurological damage. Evidently, keeping our mitochondria in good shape is crucial for our overall health and well-being. Now, you might be wondering how can we ensure our mitochondria function optimally? Well, this is where our diet comes into play. One of the key strategies for maintaining mitochondrial health is ensuring a steady delivery of glucose. Glucose is the primary fuel for our cells and, by extension, our mitochondria. But it's not just about consuming glucose. It's about consuming it in a way that doesn't cause spikes in our blood sugar levels. This is where the anti-spike formula comes into play. The anti-spike formula is all about pairing carbohydrates, which are quickly converted into glucose with proteins, fats, and fibers. These slow down the absorption of glucose into our bloodstream, resulting in a steady supply of energy to our cells and mitochondria. For instance, instead of having a bagel for breakfast, try having a whole grain toast with avocado and eggs. This combination provides a balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats ensuring a slow and steady release of glucose. Speaking of breakfast, it's not called the most important meal of the day for nothing. Starting your day with a balanced, nutrient-dense meal 
can set the tone for your energy levels throughout the day. Think whole grains, lean proteins, healthy fats, and plenty of fruits and vegetables. But let's not forget about the potential dangers of excessive glucose. While glucose is essential for our cells, too much of it can harm our mitochondria. High levels of glucose can generate excessive amounts of reactive oxygen species, which can damage mitochondrial DNA and impair their function. This is why a balanced diet, rich in whole foods and low in processed sugars is crucial for mitochondrial health. So remember, the health of our mitochondria is in our hands. By choosing foods that provide a steady supply of glucose, and by avoiding those that cause spikes in our blood sugar levels, we can protect these cellular powerhouses and keep our energy levels high. By taking care of our mitochondria through a healthy diet, we can keep our energy levels high and our bodies functioning at their best. In conclusion, our mitochondria play an essential role in our energy levels and overall health. They are the dynamos inside our cells, converting what we eat into usable energy. Without them functioning optimally, we can experience a host of health issues. But with a steady supply of glucose and a well-rounded diet, we can keep our mitochondria and therefore ourselves in peak condition. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more insightful videos like this one. Stay healthy and keep your mitochondria happy.